If you're banging your head against the wall because your machine won't let go of your remnant, I think I got something you can try. So a few weeks ago, we had a machine we just could not get to auto load. Every time the bar would be done, our remnant would be stuck inside the machine. Bar loader would draw back, nothing would be there. Over and over and over. First thing we did was, well, bar loader collet's gotta be loose, go replace it. That didn't work. Your collet and guide bushing must be gunked up. They're holding on to it too long. Clean those out. Still no. I know, we're running the same part on two different machines. We'll swap the collets, see if they behave differently as they swap. Still not the collet as the culprit. Finally, we ran across something that worked. It's not the most obvious solution, but it is something that you should keep in mind because it'll save you a lot of time. When you're programming your machine, you do have to put in dwell times on occasion. And a dwell is just gonna allow the machine to be in a pause state for a short amount of time. And that pause state is gonna maintain what it's doing and it's not gonna change. The reason that's important is because although these machines are fast, they're not instantaneous. This bar loader and the machine are two separate units and they have to communicate with one another and work together because they're both holding on to this piece of material. You've got your collet and the machine, and then you got your bar loader collet on the back end and they move back and forth together. Anytime you finish a part, your machine collet's gotta open, move back, close again, make the next part. When you get to the end of this bar, it's gotta let go completely so that the bar loader can pull all the way back and pull the remnant out. But if the bar loader's trying to pull the remnant and the collet's still holding on, between the two of them, the bar loader is much weaker and it's gonna slide right off, and then you're gonna come back, and you're not gonna have a remnant. You're gonna have to do a manual swap. That dwell time, I've found, from most bar loader manufacturers, they say you should give it about a half a second, which is what we had in the machine at the time. We increased that dwell time to two seconds to just really exaggerate it, and our problem went away completely. So if you're pulling your hair out, trying to figure out why your remnant won't extract, check your dwell times. It'll be easy, any time you add is gonna be negligible, compared to the amount of time you're spending swapping bars manually. As always, for more quick tips, be sure to like and subscribe. Till next time.